a lot of people will look at certain rappers and say that they are simps. They will do anything to impress black women. And when these men speak on the behalf of black women, they get a lot of respect. Let's say plies. Whenever you see plies speaking on the behalf of black women and how perfect they are, you will just see black women praising him and praising him and praising him. A man, especially a woman of color, was able to vote for a white man, Bill Clinton all along. Now all of a sudden it's a problem for the white man to vote for a sister? What kind of shit is that? If that's okay, the sister ain't a problem. It's him. Want to hear that shit? I'm here for two reasons. God first, my mama. And she wasn't just here to nurture me. She scrapped boots up, went to work, three, four jobs, and took care of me and my brother. Don't come tell me about no women can't run shit. Women out here doing their thing. My went friend, Rihanna and Alice Walton over there worth $72 billion at Walmart. Karen Lynch did, uh, found a, a CVS. I don't want to hear that shit. Y'all don't want them to be able to run that. That's the problem. The white man. I, hey, nobody don't want to hear that shit. Same 1920s no more. Now, this is the same case when we talk about rapper Slim Thug. He has the same things to say about Kamala Harris. What you think about politics? Who you voting for? I don't think about politics. I'm voting for the Kamala though because she's a black lady. Damn, that's dumb. You just gonna vote for her because she black? Yeah, I'm gonna vote for her because she black because a lot of black women have marched and tried to do all kind of shit to be having this right today to even reach this level. I want all the young black daughters and of the future to believe they can be the president one day. Damn, but Trump gave us $1,200. Why you not voting for the white man? Well, I don't knock white people or any other race for voting for Trump or whatever whatever reason they got. Or whoever, even if you black, vote for whoever you want to vote for. But me, I'm gonna vote for the black lady just cause I want to ride for the black lady. She not even black, she Indian. Since when did anybody with any black in them not be black? But now he's saying something a little bit controversial. A lot of women scared too, fellas, because that's the little shit they do. This robot is finna do that. Shit. They gonna have to really come with something now. You gonna it's gonna have to be it ain't gonna have to be bigger than that. You gonna have to really come with something now. It ain't about oh I cleaned your house. I uh did it. Ah uh, nah, boo the robot did that. So now what? What we? I got a robot cook for me and clean and do all that. So what? How we? What, what I need you for, you know what I'm saying? Like, what is our thing? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, man, them girls come on this app and they cap about, yeah, I got that rose and nigga ain't never gave me hair like this. And yeah, this got me, it's better than ever. What you think them girl robots gonna be able to do, man? You know that Elon them got something good for us. If not Elon, China. What you think that role, them women... Them women gonna be at them robot women gonna be able to do. We need a robot woman that's just as Debbie Downer. We gonna call her Debbie Downer. She gonna die here in about a second. Just like they be capping about that role. We gonna get us, she do everything and don't complain. That's gonna be a slogan. She do everything and don't complain. <laughs> don't drop me a robot. <laughs> Hard bodies. You don't think they can figure that shit out? Stop the cap, man. It's China. They can figure out how to make that sound. Maybe Donna gonna have the, the hog two sound. <laughs> the wife gonna be, you know how the wife try to hold out on y'all. <laughs> the wife be trying to hold out on y'all. The world is gonna be an amazing place, Lord. So let me talk about this. Now, some thug, when he's praising black women, they are so supportive of him. When he's saying he loves black women, he voting for it because he's black. But look at these comments of what these women are saying about plies. Prime example of men will have sex with anything and anyone. Please go get the robot or a boyfriend, we don't care. Pretty addiction, we honestly don't care what men think or do. We don't want no man that's interested in sleeping with a robot. First y'all wanted other men, now y'all want metal booty. 
Y'all will not be satisfied until something take that thing clean off your body. This is how men think when they believe they're the prize. If they only knew most women, if not all, really don't give a F. Which I'm going to say that I honestly agree with all of these women's uh, assessments that they're saying, hey, listen, we don't care. You can do whatever you want to do. And now because Slim Thug is saying that, now I guess also he's gay now. Despite Slim Thug being one of the biggest advocates for black women on social media. But what they're doing is they're missing the points. The point that Slim Thug is trying to say is that, hey, listen, ladies, you have the opportunity to do the same things that the robot will do for these men, but you don't want to do it. And that's the big problem that he's addressing. And they're not looking at it like that. He's actually trying to warn them, okay? Like, listen, ladies, this robot will come in and do all the things that you refuse to do, yet expecting a man to do all of the things that you won't do for him. So you don't want to do anything for this guy, but you expect this guy to do all these things for you and be in a relationship based on disparity. So that's what he's really addressing. You don't want to have parity in the relationship. So what will happen in the future is since you're not going to give anything to these guys, this robot is going to give this thing to these guys. And what's going to happen is you're going to be upset. This is not what Slim Thug is trying to say to, hey, black women, this is your fault. You know, uh, you guys are not worthy of a black man. He's not saying that. What he's saying is if you happen to be in the entitled group, then you're going to be the ones upset and don't get mad that you missed the opportunity to do this. This is the same argument as me, who is a pro black. I live in Africa. I'm a Pan-Africanist. I'm hard body hashtag FBA. If you want to call me that hashtag ADOS. I'm real big in the African-American community. I would love nothing more to see black men dealing with beautiful black women in our community. But I gotta be honest here. This robot he's talking about sounds a lot like the same things that we tell black men or black men complain about with these other races. Look at the passport bro community. Look at all of these other black men who have talked about this time and time again, that hey, sisters are not doing the things that we want you to do or that you're asking us to do you're not even willing to give us the opportunity to have some level of parity between relationships and once we start to go and look for something or someone who will give us the parity now here you go calling somebody gay or we don't care or do whatever you want to do we never wanted you anyway when what you're proving is you're not listening to what these men are talking about that's the problem you expect to get everything, this is not everyone, with no effort. It's almost like starting a business. You want to have a business without any investment, any practical investment, and expect to make profits. You don't want to put any time into the business. You don't want to build the business culture. You don't want to buy any equipment. You don't want to train. You don't want to develop. But you expect that you should get money for doing nothing. This is what your expectation is. This is the same thing that I believe that he's saying. And these men are complaining. And the mature thing is, is to say, listen, well, what is it that these men want so that we can keep them? And this is the same thing with the Kamala Harris. The same argument that he's making here is the same thing that, you know, Barack Obama doesn't want to address with black men, which is your concerns don't matter. It's not necessary. You know, you just do whatever we're telling you to do because we really don't care about you. So then, okay, fine. If that is your attitude, then you're gonna miss out on a lot of good opportunities for your own financial wealth, your own financial situation, an easier life without having a man. Let me just tell you ladies this, right? And I know some ladies are very talented. You can work very well individualistically. In life, we all need help, okay? It is better if you can get it, not saying that you need it. If you can get a male partner, a husband, who will help you throughout life, that you can work with. And if you're lucky enough to build that inside of a community that you can invest in and get, you know, rewards for what you're trying to do, your life will be significantly much easier and more fruitful. But you have to give something. Also, what you're telling me when you have problems with this particular concept is that you just don't care. And again, I know I keep repeating myself, but that's the situation, that's the issue. So if that's going to be the issue, then understand it will be your fault. 
So guys, what do you think? It's your boy Oshidi Jackson back at it again with another episode of A Celebrity Junk. I appreciate you for all the news, the bell. We're out. Thank you.